So I woke up the other morning with people tagging me, asking me to speak on a topic that Jada said pertaining to men not loving women like they did back in the 80s and the 90s. Now, after talking to my dad and my grandparents, I think we deal with a lot of the same issues they used to deal with now back then. But I think the only difference that Jada was trying to make was cheating wasn't as accessible as it is now back then because they didn't have much technology. Now, at the click of a button, a man can cheat. And I can tell you, you have millennials and the Generation X women who you could thank for that. I've been having this conversation for over 10 years offline with women. Women participating in large numbers in these dating apps, it really ruined the whole market. And let me tell you why. If women didn't flock to those apps, men wouldn't go on there either. The men on the apps are only there because the women are on the apps. And it's such a variety of women and so many women. It's like being in a supermarket or being on Amazon. And I'm telling you, it's really been a disaster for the dating market. Before people really had to talk to each other, men approached women in normal settings. So basically he had to know how to communicate with her. Things are just much different now when you have all these 304s advertising themselves, their services online, and they'll come to you quicker than Amazon Prime. Shout out to Jamon and everybody else who sent this video in. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. And if you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below and I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. Let's go ahead and get into this video where you have this woman here. She's responding to Jada, remember this? We, we run the world, girls really run the world. I don't understand why people aren't realizing this, that we make this sh spin. Without us, it is nothing. Like, do y'all feel like the value of women to guys have went down or guys just don't, you know, respect us, appreciate us how they used to back in the, the 80s and the 90s, you know, like, Women control the, like, literally, you know, because I could say this now, but I only say that because of status. Like, we making hella money, just like these niggas. As far as a, a man literally worshiping the ground a woman walk on, it's kind of rare these days. We running out of that. Um, and it, it's kind of scary in, in society today. And I don't know, I might piss a lot of people off talking about this, but this is just conversations I be having with my friends. But guys don't appreciate us and respect us how they used to do our aunties and grandmas and them back in the day. Jada said that if you want to hear my commentary on that video, the link is below in the description. But Dodger Keys from Chicago, but she moved down to Atlanta. She decided she wanted to speak on the topic as well. And this is what she had to say. So I woke up the other morning with people tagging me, asking me to speak on a topic that Jada said pertaining to men not loving women like they did back in the 80s and the 90s. Now, after talking to my dad and my grandparents, I think we deal with a lot of the same issues they used to deal with now back then. But I think the only difference that Jada was trying to make was cheating wasn't as accessible as it is now back then because they didn't have much technology. Now, at the click of a button, a man can cheat. Not only that, the genre of music was just different. Like men used to literally rap and sing about loving on a woman and spending the rest of his life with her. Now, a lot of men rap about dogging women and literally passing himself around to as many women as he can. These modern women can't seem to understand that they are the ones lowering their own value. They are disrespecting themselves. Look at them. The Magic City uniform is the standard for them. And when I say Magic City uniform, I'm not just talking about the outfits. I'm talking about the hair, the tattoos, the piercings, all of it. The 304 mindset, yes, I'm talking about it all. How do you expect respect when you walk around like this? Not only that, they're talking about music. Did they forget about the thousands of female rappers out here lowering the value of themselves and also teaching younger women how to do it too? They are all the sons of Nicki Minaj. The lack of femininity, the lack of modesty, all of that going out the window. Look back at your grandmothers, your great grandmothers, your great great grandmothers, and then compare them to women like this. And to be 100% honest with you, I feel sorry for a lot of these men. Sorry that you feel so less within yourself that you seek other things and other women to make you feel whole. Sorry that you don't have the same type of self-respect that I got for myself because anybody can't just have me, especially if I'm with somebody. That it causes you to cross a person who never did anything to you, but love you. 
Okay, now I see the woman here. She's speaking from a place from being in a relationship with the man and she said that that man crossed her. The truth is y'all don't have respect for yourself and that's evident in the men that you choose to give yourself to. Y'all don't care about character. Y'all care about materialistic things. You care about money and getting with the man that you can control. The man y'all can control is the one who doesn't have any self-discipline. Let's be honest because if he's allowing you to wear the pants and control everything, then he can also lack self-control, self-discipline. Another thing, how can y'all possibly respect yourself looking like y'all just walked out of Magic City in the wee hours of the morning? Y'all don't have any respect for yourself if you're able to even just walk around the way y'all do. And then you know the really annoying part about modern women like these is that they'll sit up there looking like this, having these righteousness talks, talking about God and everything else. Look, you are not deep and you are not God-like. And to be 100% honest with you, a lot of these men are ugly. And I don't mean by just looks. I mean, if you strip majority of these men of money, power, and materialistic, a lot of people wouldn't even look their way. And yeah, you simps out there, you help create this and maintain this too. Look at this nonsense she just said. The only reason why they're able to say that and they have that confidence is because you gave it to them. Drooling over birds, drooling over leftover women. Y'all the one that fill their heads up and give them this big old ego. It's confirmed by all the simps that give them the time of the day. And then the nervous say, no one will look their way if you took away money and all this other stuff from men. Never mind, they have on these full Magic City costumes every single day. 20 pounds of makeup, gluing and sticking it on other women's hair to their heads walking around with eyelashes that look like swiffers and we didn't even get on the plastic surgery the implants the transfers the face fillers the nose jobs the one thing you can say about men is when they show up they show up they don't have to put on makeup to contour their face and look like a whole nother person women like the ones i'm talking about they do all that for the attention of all the bottom feeders they know that whenever they put on these costumes, they're going to attract a lot of low quality attention. And for them, it's not about the quality, it's about the quantity. The more people showing interest in them, the more satisfied they are. Look at Aisha Curry. She has a quality, dedicated husband. But she wanted attention from men online who are not even half of the men that she already has. Half of them on drugs and claim they fighting demons, but it's really consequences to their actions. It's a shame, ain't it? Jezebel's attracting addicts and demons. Why well, I'm so shocked, I never thought the two would meet each other. Uh, personalities <laughs> suck because they try too hard to act like they don't care when they really do. You know, I just, at this point, I don't even, I'm not even shocked when I see a lot of the best women single. Because a lot of these men are so unpleasant to love and ain't much to have. And then they always clowning on the guy, calling him corny if he loves and respects his woman properly. I'm starting to be confused. Do y'all like men or something? You know she had to add a bunch of sign language. Nobody's calling men corny for treating a woman properly. It's corny when simps treat 304s like ladies. A 304 is not a lady. I have to tell you the truth. The best women are not single. The best women, they get taken off the market. See, you couldn't possibly tell me that these are the best women. They think that having a lot of social media followers or having a bank account means that the woman is the best woman. Who told them that? That is not true. Men are respected for their accomplishments and their money. That's what modern women value in men. But that is not what men value in women. The scale is not the same. The criteria is not the same. So these best women that you're talking about, these are low value, low quality birds. 304s walking around in Magic City uniforms. You know what, let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. They can't even have a conversation without the same sign language. Special thank you to Jermon for seeing this video and I appreciate you. As well as Wesley, Shy town Ron, Sir Shy, Dark Power, Prayer Warrior Kelly, and G Covington. I appreciate all of you for your support. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.